Good morning, everybody. It is just before eight o'clock, and it's still kind of darkish outside. Today is a new day in Paris for Haute Couture. I have quite a few appointments and meetings, and just like shows and things to see. I guess appointments, presentations. So my schedule is pretty packed. I'm about to get up, get ready, and leave. As you can see, we are in a hotel room, staying in my favorite place in Paris, in Hotel Plaza Athene. Literally my view from bed is Eiffel Tower which you can't actually see right now because it's kind of foggy outside but I'm about to go get ready get in the shower and start the day Now that the shower is done, I'm gonna try and do my makeup. I quite want to do something durable. Usually I quite focus on my base because I'm gonna be out for pretty much whole of the day, but let's say most of the day. So I need something that's gonna really stay on my face for the whole day without kind of like being patchy or anything weird like that because you don't want that in the shows and also I'll be taking a lot of pictures and probably <laughs> selfies and insta stories if you guys don't follow my instagram you should totally change that right now it's just at tomorrow so basically what I'll be doing taking a lot of photographs and being out for a long day so at the moment I'm using the Clinique Beyond Perfecting foundation and concealer this is like a two-in-one foundation well I use it as a foundation and I really love it it does conceal well because the cover just pretty good and it lasts the whole day mine is in shade 6 or ivory so I'll be using that today to do my makeup and I'll show you how it goes because a lot of you have asked me about this in my new in video when I showed you that I got the Clinique foundation so I'll put it to test today and we'll check out if it really is as amazing and I'll update you at the end of the day because so far it's been literally my best friend but I want you guys to witness it as well so I'll be using that and I'll be doing like a soft smoky look because that's what I quite like to have when I'm taking a lot of pictures and what else I guess I'll keep my lips kind of like nude and moisturized because that's very important so let's do the makeup before I apply the base I will use a moisturizer I always do that and I'll be using the Clinique Moisture Surge this time so it's like a gel foundation which is quite good um, for applying makeup because it will kind of let it um, sit better and obviously it makes your skin moisturized very important so this feels really good on my skin that is done like I mentioned I will use the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation okay so let's try this I really like the applicator it really is like a concealer so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of apply it you can obviously apply it on your hand as well and stuff like if you think it's more hygienic or appropriate but this is like giving a lot of precision as well I really need a lot of coverage today so. and I will blend it in with the recommended brush which is also a Clinique blending brush just to see if this kind of works as well oh well it's blending really really easily and it feels very kind of like silky yesterday i used um beauty blender to blend it in and that also worked really well well it's kind of like um personal preference really whatever you want to apply your foundation with but basically today i have i have a meeting at 11 which is like in literally half an hour so <laughs> i'm not gonna spend too much time doing my makeup and then after that I have um, I think three shows today and I have a presentation and a meeting and I want to meet my friend Noor from Queen of Jetlags. she's a Dutch blogger and we often do like fashion weeks and things like that we always meet up because we take pictures of each other and we help each other and go shopping oh my god shopping I really want to go shopping today there's a bag that I want to buy yeah we're better than in Paris right wow this looks really glowy I really like that I don't need a concealer. I have like a spot on my forehead, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more on there. As you know, I like quite a lot of highlighters, so I'll be using MAC Soft and Gentle right here, like this. That's done. Then I really should hurry up, so I'll get straight to the eyes. I'm gonna be using the Tom Ford, what is this? 
eye color cord and cognac sable and it has like these kind of like smoky like I mentioned earlier soft smoky colors and I really love them so I'll start by using the bronzy one I love that one it's one of my favorite shades kind of like in the crease also I really really do genuinely love this foundation because it makes my skin look flawless I don't know I don't know, I know I need to blend this in, but first I will use the like super thin brush. This is like a matte hand, 219, it's one of my favorites. And I'll just apply it in the corners like this, like in the outer corners, and currently this is what I look like, I know. I will blend it in all now, so now is the time to blend. I still need this. <laughs> Okay, blending. Now, um, to add a bit of definition to my lower lash line as well, I will use a Tom Ford High Definition Eyeliner in color 2 Ebony. I'll just, because I don't want to use like eyeliner and stuff like that, and this is really long lasting. I'll apply it here, like this. That is done. Now, I'll just touch up my eyebrows a little bit. I'll just um, kind of do the corners. I'm using the MAC Brunette color uh, for eyebrows, just a tiny little bit. I'll align my lips with Max Strip Down. And then I will use the Clinique Crayola, the Chubby Stick in color uh, 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 Fuzzy Fuzzy? Is it Fuzzy Fuzzy? Yeah, Fuzzy Fuzzy. I love this, it's like such a perfect nude, but it's a bit shimmery. So this is really moisturizing, it's like a lip balm, but it leaves a bit of color. And I love it when I line my lips with it, then it looks really like serious, but you don't have to. So when I'm on the planes and stuff, I just apply it as it is. What else am I gonna do? I guess mascara. On the bottom lashes, I'll use the Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara. I think this is the only brand that does bottom lash mascara, am I right? And I kind of really like it because it's super good precision power. It's like tiny and it doesn't leave any, you know, those like marks underneath. The only thing about this is that sometimes I forget to bring it with me if I'm traveling, which is annoying. This is my makeup look complete. How do you like it? Doesn't it look shiny? I think my skin looks much better than it looked before, obviously. I think the coverage is also pretty good. And obviously you will see the durability of all of this on my face, except from the lips, obviously they're gonna like go in five minutes because I'm drinking my coffee. So um, yeah, this is it for today. I'm gonna go get dressed and rush because I don't wanna be late. Okay, so before I'm super late, I thought I'd show you my outfit of the day. And this is what I'm wearing. I'll try and leave the links for everything below. I've got like a Philip Lim dress, a shirt underneath, this is a Reese coat. Oh, Philip Lim boots as well, actually. That's odd. And then I'm thinking wearing a Chanel bag. What do you think? Either this one or my yellow Bulgari one in the background that you can see on the sofa. Which one goes better? I can't decide. This one fits more, but then the colors are kind of boring. This one adds a bit of color, so I'll go for that. Guys, let's go.
Doing the Rami Kadi presentation, that was beautiful guys, like I really enjoyed it. And now I'm gonna have to go and check out my schedule and see what I have next. But I really want to kind of do a bit of shopping as well today. So I'm hoping that that's gonna happen soon. Let's see. Wow. Right away. Some shoes. I need these boots in my life. Stunning, stunning menu. I love it. It's very like in Baroque style and then the contrast with this industrial bit where all the shoes are displayed. Some new designs here with the booties. Uh-huh. And then as well, really new idea playing with the Lurex. Yeah. Something we've never done before and it's like never really been seen before actually using that as a material across the sheets. Yes, so I this is the first time I'm uh, launching a children's wear collection. This will bring on these really beautiful ladylike silhouettes and obviously it comes back to for us very much sort of men's tailoring, cycle row, craftsmanship, Amazing. which is obviously where we're based. What about a white boot? I love those. They're new. I've never seen that design. before. I love them. Okay guys, I am of course waiting for my Uber on the street. It's coming in three minutes and then we're off to meet my friend Nora. For to one of our favorite boulangeries in Paris. My friend Thor is here. Look how much cake we got. And coffee, of course. We're catching up on everything. She's a Dutch blogger. She's also doing a YouTube. So for all of my Dutch followers, you should always subscribe to her. <laughs> She's amazing. And yeah, we're just gonna catch up. My foundation still looks pretty good. I'm quite happy. Which one did you use today? It's the Kirby Beyond Perfect Foundation. We haven't tried it yet. Yeah. So, as a little break, my friend Sander and his girlfriend Noor, who you've already seen before, got to Louis Vuitton and I'm actually buying a bag right now. So Such a cute bag. Such a cute bag. I'm gonna show it to you in a little bit. Or am I? Or should I do a special reveal no, video? No, do hauls. Tomorrow's hauls are the best, guys. I love your hauls so much. love my hauls? Even the woman at Louis Vuitton is loving them so much. She's yeah. saying like, I know you from bag videos. <laughs> Like, yeah, probably me. It could be any video. So, <laughs> but I really love bags. You guys know that, so can't yeah. blame me. We should go to Prada actually. To see I'd the love to. Yeah, moon bag. Yeah. We're gonna go to Prada next. So we're doing a bit of shopping. They're bringing us drinks, and they're packing my bag. The drinks are here. Nora is trying Yay, my new bag is here for the new video, so that's coming soon, guys. Okay, guys, we're now at Grand Palais, which looks stunning, and uh, we're heading to a couture show. Last one of the day, it's Alexandre Wauthier. Okay guys, the show is over. It was absolutely amazing as you could probably see. I'm gonna head back to my hotel. I'm looking for my car. Head back to the hotel and tell you all about today. So guys, I am back in my room after, well, long, long time. It's 10 p.m. now. Basically, my friends were also over and I had a pretty fabulous day. So I went to presentations, meetings, shows, went shopping, went for lunch with my friends and cake. I posted some Instagram pictures. So this one, I don't know if you follow me guys on Instagram, but it's at Tamara, like I mentioned before. And I just got home and I think my makeup still looks pretty good considering that I've done it at 9 a.m. and it's 10 p.m. now. I'll actually show you in a better light. I think it's quite a good little experiment. So so I have to say that I'm really happy with my makeup after the day. I'm especially happy with my Beyond Perfecting. Even my friend Nora was complimenting on it. I think it was great for pictures and great for kind of like staying on all day. Even that spot is still concealed. Like I'm really impressed and it's kind of dewy, right? It's quite shiny but not too much. So that's something that I really like. I mean, I don't want to sound like really braggy or weird. 
but I'm really happy with it. Um, yeah, I had a really successful day, had a great meeting first thing in the morning and you know, went shopping and bought something really nice in Louis Vuitton. I cannot wait to show you, Louis Vuitton is doing so well if you ask me lately. And make sure to comment below if you would like me to do an unboxing video for you to see what was in the shopping bag. So let me know if you would like to see that. I think I'm about to have a bath now, remove my makeup and do some computer work. So yeah, this is basically where I'm gonna wrap the day because it was a really long day and I really need some downtime as I feel like I've been talking all day long. So I'll see you soon, sending you loads of love and thank you so much for watching till the end. I'll see you soon, bye!